Welcome to this podcast number 631, fifth anniversary episode. Is this it? Is this it? Is it? But it was brought to us by a couple sponsors, Jonah Ray. Oh, I'd love to hear what they are, Chris. One of them being Zero, spelled X E R O, which is online accounting software for your small business. With Zero, it doesn't matter if your small business is brick and mortar or online because it's built in the cloud. You can manage your accounting anywhere, anytime from your Mac, PC, iOS, or Android device. Sign up for your free 30 day trial at zero.com slash podcasts, plural. Uh, manage your invoicing and start getting paid faster. What are you looking at? No, I just, like, I felt wetness on my legs. Then I felt them and smelled them. What did you step in? No, it was, like, on my jeans. I think it was the, uh, I wasn't sure if it was pee or the uh, the faucet in the water. Why would there be pee wetness on your legs? I don't know, because I, I was peeing at a urinal, and I don't know if there was fl- splashback. There would have to be a tremendous amount of splashback if you could, if you, for your jeans to feel wet. That sounds like you just peed directly onto your leg. But I didn't. That's why I was confused. Sure? That's why I had to check. And what did you determine? That it was not pee, because it doesn't smell like pee. Okay, not yet. Not yet, but I mean, it would happen. It's fresh. Yeah. Yo, that pee is fresh. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, not... no pussy talking Jonah for the fifth anniversary. Or Bruce Gutter. No, what yeah. happened? We, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It just, uh, I was a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> You know, sitting eye to eye with the uh, with people, uh, you know, I get uncomfortable. Like, you really uh, still? Yeah, I just, you know, I I know I should get over, it, but that one that one time that one time in Portland, just that's uh, that's how I uh, think everyone's gonna end up responding to me by telling you they hate you. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like one it's, guy in Portland, like one girl. It was a one girl in Portland four years ago, and it like yeah, for some reason it just kind of like it just damaged me in the way where it's like. I kind of get mild panic attacks when we do live shows. Aww, yeah. well, you were really funny on this one. Thanks. This thanks. was a last minute thing that we decided to do was just basically have a fifth anniversary show at Meltdown. We thought yeah. like like a week and a half, maybe two weeks before, and then a bunch of people showed up, and and it was yeah. it was. I mean, we are you know it it is sort of like we are it is kind of a like a a fun spiritual circle jerk about like oh yeah. remember when but it was so, it's so amazing and incredible for me. To sit there with you guys, to know that we have been doing this for five years, that it's we've had all these amazing experiences, and we're still doing it. And it's still fun, and yeah. And if and, anything, it's I, I, you know, it's more fun than it ever has been before. It's just a, you know, like a good relationship. It just kind of continues to like we we find new ways to make each other laugh. Because at this point, we're not sitting around going, "What are we going to talk about?" It's just like, oh, we know, we just yeah. we just know how we just know we just talk. We yeah, talk. yeah, and like it's uh, you know, it's always it's always great to be surprised by your friends making you laugh as hard as they do. You know, that's a, that's like a it's a joy. So there were. It was technically a hostful, but it was kind of a uh, hostful plus because uh, we had Katie came out and talked for a bit. Kyle came out and talked for a bit. Yeah. Uh, Your mom. My mom came out and talked for a bit. Yeah. Um, and it was great. A lot of lot of awesome diehard fans there. A lot of people just packed it in. Everyone was incredibly sweet. I got this amazing gift from a, a girl who put on a. Uh, high school play version of Night Living Dead. Yes, and, uh, yeah, that's in just, there. That's all in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, it's all in there. So we'll stop doing the pre-roll yeah. hostful and then get to the actual fifth anniversary show. And you know, as I said on the podcast when we were doing it live, um, I cannot thank you enough for listening and sharing this with your friends and and uh, sharing your stories about you know how the podcast has uh, affected your life in various ways, uh, mostly positive and. Uh, mm-hmm. And it, it because it is still as amazing for us to do it, and still freaky that people that we can do it, and people know what it is, and that yeah. they want to be on it, and that people in the street know it, and you know, it's uh, it really this this thing changed my entire life, changed all of all our of lives. our lives, yeah. and uh, and and we couldn't have done that without you guys listening. So thank you so much, and, yeah. and also uh, thank you to our other sponsor, Birchbox. Uh, Birchbox is basically. Uh, you're going to get a personalized batch of grooming and style essentials from the comfort of your home, Jonah Ray. That sounds great. They're going to send it to you in a box. It's 20 bucks a month. You're going to get three to four grooming samples plus some type of, let's call it a dapper accessory, uh, all tailored to suit whatever your personal profile is. Well, if you know me, I need grooming. So. <laughs> Birchbox should be all up in your business. Yeah. Head over to Birchbox.com, use the promo code NERDIST, and get 100 Birchbox points with the purchase of your subscription. That's $10 to spend toward your new favorite products. 
featured brands range from uh, cult classics to industry legends, uh, any type of personal grooming device. You don't know what you're going to get each month, but it's going to be great, and it's going to be wor- worth more than what you're spending each month to get the thing. And it's like a little Christmas present to yourself yeah. with a constructive outcome, which is that you're grooming and taking care of yourself. Uh, so thanks to Birchbox for sponsoring this episode of the Nerdist Podcast. Our fifth anniversary show, episode number, because we, we never did it at, like a special thing for the anniversary, so no. we had to do this for number five, and yeah. I'm glad we did. Me too. Uh, episode number 631, and we took some video, and we'll be posting that at Nerdist.com. If it's not up already, then it'll be up very soon. Cool. Uh, all right, Katie, roll the thing. Hello. Welcome. Come there, Matt. Uh, I, we didn't know about that video. That was a complete surprise. It was. That actually was a complete surprise. T- thank you so much, Phil and, and Ash and Deb and everyone who Brian contributed and, to that. And, and Jesus. Brian. Thank Jesus. Yeah. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Jesus. I'd like to thank, thank, thank the Lord for yeah. his uh, kind of great reason. five years. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to take so it much. a different direction yeah. from five to ten. It's all going to be about the oh. Lord. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We and tricked you guys. We're yeah. just here to preach. Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard the good word? This is better than church. It only costs $5. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're all sinners and you're going to hell unless you do exactly what we say. That's how it works, yeah. right? Yeah. That's how it works. Ass to mouth. Whoa. <laughs> so soon in the beginning. <laughs> Usually we edit that out. Now everyone knows that's the first thing oh you say. Oh, my God. I just realized. Guys, it's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The uh, so the podcast started five years ago, Super Bowl Sunday, two thousand ten. Uh, really quickly, the story goes that um, I was pregnant. I was pregnant, <laughs> and I <laughs> pregnant. Yeah. I wish I had and water in my mouth. I didn't want to keep it, so uh, abortion. <laughs> I just love that you said abortion. Yeah. That's how the kids the are referring to it. Yeah. Abortion. <laughs> Hashtag abortion. Oh, uh, man, I gotta guys, go get a straight up boarded again. Straight up bo- <laughs> if you want to see Fox bring back abortion, uh, <laughs> hashtag X Files. I love Frank Borshin in the original Batman. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so five years ago, I, I had been thinking for about a year I wanted to do a podcast. I'd sort of. You know, I had talked to I had talked to Marin about it a little bit. I had talked to um, I had talked to Pardo. I had talked to Doug, and it just felt like something I wanted to do. But my back, I, I had a background in radio, so I thought, well, the show's got to be super produced. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then I and then I went and did uh, Corolla's podcast like the week that he got fired from radio and started a podcast. I was like, oh yeah, you could just talk to people the way that comics talk backstage. Uh, at the same time, I was up for a job. The job I thought was going to sort of change my life and make more people come out to see me live, which was always my ultimate goal. And uh, it was a show on E. The show got canned uh, and before we even made it to air, and I'm glad it did. And I was so angry that the show didn't go. I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to start a podcast, and it'll just be mine, and no one can do anything about it. Because, you know, this business, there's just no, you have no control. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to, I can control a podcast. I, I can make that myself. So I called Jonah, uh, who I had been friends with. Um, Jonah used to – I met Jonah in the California, Southern California open mic circuit when he was 19 years old, and I was still drunk Peter Hardwick. I used to make Jonah drive me to Jack in the Box at 2 a.m. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you want a spot, you better Jack this box. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy, who wants yeah. to drive the singled-out guy for snacks? Yeah. And, of course, Jonah was from, from Hawaii, so he was like, yeah, bro, or whatever you're going to yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you were you're my ohana. It's what we do. <laughs> in uh, in Hawaii, it's called Kalani in the Box, right? That's yeah. a totally different. No, it's not. It's still called Jack in the Box, Chris. It's, <laughs> no, it's, it's not. part of the United States. You Has don't have enough letters in your alphabet to be called. We that. have enough. No, you don't. <laughs> and so uh, Matt Myra had been producing the Comedy and Everything Else podcast with Jimmy Dore and Todd Glass, uh, and then I had I had met him at the Apple Store. He was working on the floor of the Apple sure Store. Sure was. You know. <laughs> Talk, and, you know, he it was a frequenter of the UCB of Comedy Death Ray and when it was still called Death Ray. Mm-hmm. And so we talked and I went back in periodically and then Matt started doing that podcast with Jimmy and Todd. And so I called Joan and said, hey, do you want to do a podcast? I said, what's a podcast? Yep. I had no idea. Did what you really? I, I thought, well, like the Ricky Gervais show? 
Yeah. That was the only thing I knew the about a podcast. That's the one. That's the yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, Joan, I, I called him on a Thursday. I found out I didn't get this show, like, on a Saturday. On a Thursday, I called Jonah. and then Also, I called keep in mind, I, I was writing on that show, so I also didn't get a job. Oh, right. That was yeah. the, the Daily Ten reboot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so we were both both in a bad bad situation. And, and I was just working at the Apple store. <laughs> right. So I was in a great situation. Yeah. So I call, So then I called Matt, and I was like, do you want to produce this show? Like, will you come on from comedy and everything else? And he was like, yeah, I think I'd probably do that. And uh, It's a really good man. <laughs> Actually, that sounds like Matt's impression of you. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's exactly what that sounds like. <laughs> I can do that. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. So, so uh, what ended up happening was Matt was initially going to produce the show, but then I just was became such a control freak about it that I just ended up doing it for the film, for the first handful. And Matt's stars yeah. shone too bright. Yep. yep. <laughs> you cannot contain a nuclear reaction like this. No. Unless uh, you reroute main power through the secondary. No, no. stop it. <laughs> so, uh, so I called Matt and Joan on Thursday. I called up Tom Lennon and said, "Do you want to be on our first podcast?" And he said, "Sure. I, I don't give a shit about football either." So we went to Tom's house, Super Bowl Sunday, 2010. Recorded our first podcast. We just had a conversation. Posted it uh, the next day on Monday. Recorded it on a Sunday. I don't think Jonah's mic was really on it, in that first episode. Well, I, 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 you know, I went out and bought a bunch of equipment and tried to that make ended it. ended up getting stolen out of my Honda Civic. Yes. Um, if you're here, keep it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're here, way to go with the long con. <laughs> here, I thought it'd be funny. You can have uh, it back now. Wow. Marin. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I never thought it would last. <laughs> I, I can buy my own microphone. It's all that stamps money. <laughs> yeah, tell Myra thanks for constantly giving my WTF <laughs> call sign in the intros. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, that that was it. And when I and when we started the podcast, I said to the guys like, we have to make a deal with the with the listening audience that we will always post a podcast every week. That's the deal. You you guys show up. We'll have content there every week. One year turned into two years, which turned into two podcasts a week. Three years turned into three podcasts a week. And six podcasts a week. <laughs> <laughs> and five and five years later, the thing that was really just for us to have fun and maybe get some more people out to live shows has become the most significant thing I've ever done in my life. Um, the most special thing we've gotten to talk to the most incredible people. I'm like we text each other all the time after podcasts, and like, how the fuck is this happening? And uh, and also has you know brought all you guys here and been the cornerstone of, of, of Nerdist Industries basically. So thank you so much for showing up tonight and for allowing us to enjoy your burrito. And then we leave. Uh, what do you think has? What do you think has? In the beginning, we you know we. I feel like we've all kind of grown as because the show's not really an interview. I shrank. It's more of a, yeah, the, Joan and I are a lot closer to the middle of these chairs than we would have been five years ago. Yeah. Um, but you know, we used to interrupt each other a lot in the beginning. We no, we never did that. No, yeah, we, we did, did sometimes. That. I don't think so. I certainly never. did. Yeah, you never, yeah, but you I did. And then you like started. I want to get my joke. Like, hey, Matthews. Uh, <laughs> honestly, for the first year, I was writing in the description. You know. The guest says something, I say something, Jonah says something, and Matt still loves the Dave Matthews band. That yeah. was. In but you would always write, and somehow, and Matt somehow still Matt likes Dave Matthews band. Yeah. Which I feel like is why we've never been able to book Dave Matthews on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone put that on me. They, th they think I'm the one that hates Dave Matthews because I'm the fucking hipster of the group. Right. And they're like, oh, you hate Dave Matthews. I was like, that's Chris. They're like, Chris would never say anything mean. Yeah, they're right. <laughs> I know. The funny thing is. Of the three of us, Jonah is actually the sweetest one. <laughs> and so we would go do live shows and people would be like, uh, fuck Jonah, team Matt. And Jonah's like, I wanted I <laughs> I'm a human being. <laughs> Cause, you know, for the first couple of years, Jonah was like comedy grumpy on the show, but in real life, he was always the sweetest one. So it was always, it was always reversed. And now. That's why I'm having a hard time making eye contact with everyone here. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Look up! I can't. I'll, I'll, I'll look at my friends from the meltdown show. Hey guys, thanks for sitting up front. So, uh, so how, 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 what, what has changed for you in the last five years, Jay Ray? So much more pussy. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, um, D. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, no, I've uh, I've learned a lot uh, through just uh, doing this podcast. It's like you, it's like a front row seat to seeing uh, one of your best friends interview uh, some of the you know most inspiring people uh, uh, like in, like in entertainment. And it's been like really awesome. It's just like having like going to college and you're the only student, and then Matt is there too. Uh, <laughs> Matt's the one leaning in, going, "I already knew that." <laughs> oh, shut up! I'm taking notes. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, just, to, it's been really great to not only, like, uh, become better friends with you guys through doing it, but also just to see Chris really, uh, just, uh, b- uh blossom from just, like, uh, uh, a rich guy to a really rich guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's been, yeah. like, I mean, almost super rich. You're getting yeah. there. Uh, no, I've enjoyed no. that part of the process as well. <laughs> 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 No, but it's uh, you know, I, it's uh, to, the the fact that you still bring us along, even though you don't necessarily need to. It's just it's really awesome that you, like I uh, don't like doing the show without you guys, and and what you know, unfortunately, fortunately, the, the good news, bad news is we've all gotten. <laughs> which one's good news? Which one's bad news? <laughs> you decide. Uh, but you know, it, we. I would love to have everyone there at every podcast, but the good news for everyone is that everyone's working more, and you know. Jonah's working on a ton of stuff, and Matt's writing on At Midnight. He's doing nine other podcasts, and he's and so I can't stop. <laughs> Let's talk addicted. about James Bond, guys. Uh, uh, actually, Matt, this is your intervention. Gorley, can you uh, <laughs> Mosers all oh, here? God, yeah. So it's you know that's why this year we're actually actively trying to do more hostful podcasts because Matt and Jonah can't be at every one in the middle of the day. But it's funny. A couple years ago, when it, when you guys were appearing less and less frequent, frequently, 